So, do you need an abortion? Are you in Indiana, Mississippi, Ohio, Texas, South Carolina, South Dakota, or Oklahoma? Because you're seeing ads that say, need an abortion? California's ready to help. Learn more at abortion.california.gov. Now, if you look at the small print in some of these ads, you'll then see Mark 12, 31. This is bad. Love your neighbor as yourself. There's no greater commandment than these. Paid for by Newsom for California Governor 2022. Yet, let me remind you, these ads are in Indiana, Mississippi, Ohio, Texas, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Oklahoma so far. I mean, but the, the invocation of Scripture, Mark 12, 31, love your neighbor as yourself. There's no greater commandment than this. So when Jesus said, this is the greatest commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, the golden rule, that is what Gavin Newsom is invoking for imaging in these states that he has nothing to do with for abortion access to California. In other words, he is utilizing Scripture to justify the killing of unborn children. Yeah, and only part of the scripture, the first part of that is love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. He leaves that out and then invokes the second part of love your neighbor as if trying to protect a baby from being killed is not loving your neighbor. So complete, you know, left side spin, once again, the abortion distortion, uh, sticking up for the life of a baby, being pro-life is not not loving your neighbor. But I mean, the fact that they're used, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out politic, I mean, politically. What does he think this helps? And why is he doing it? Obviously, he's planning on running against Joe Biden. Yeah, I mean, that's being reported widespread. Even today, that's been widespread. A lot of uh, liberal news outlets are saying he is a 100% in if Joe Biden is out. What if Joe Biden's in? I think Will he be the Ted Kennedy that ran against Jimmy Carter? They haven't been successful. No. So, I mean, he, he'd be putting in a lot of money, spending, and you'd wonder, would that be your shot? And then you get pushed over for the next time. He is definitely where the part, the left wing of the party is going, is saying, see, he's someone that middle-class mobs will like, and so they won't listen to how liberal he is. his policies are. But let's I mean, this is a guy, it's like electing the former San Francisco mayor, which is what he was before governor. Right, so put up Pretty on out the, of touch with American values. Put this up on the screen for our audience that are watching our social media application. So this is what it says, and I'll read it for a radio audience. Need an abortion question? Most picture of a probably a, about a twenty year old uh, woman. California is ready to help. Learn more at abortion.california.gov. Then it says, love your neighbor as yourself. There's no greater commandment than these. Mark twelve thirty one. Paid for by Newsom for California Governor twenty twenty two, which he is the governor, but he's using his campaign funds to do this. This is the same California CC that tries to close pregnancy resource centers and make them refer for abortions. Yeah. Uh, you know, California is definitely the abortion, one of the abortion capitals. I think New York definitely could be another one. But abortion uh, in California, Governor Newsom has made, he's very apparent and upfront with his protection of abortion in his press release, you know, he said, here's my message to any woman seeking abortion care in these anti-freedom states. Come to California. We will defend your, he says, constitutional right to make decisions about your own health. When Dobbs clearly states that the right to kill your baby is not a constitutional right, abortion is not in the Constitution, but Governor Newsom is still claiming that it is. You know, here's the, here's the thing. I mean, it's bad enough that they take these ads. That's free country could take out ads. It's bad enough that they're promoting abortion because it's horrible. What makes it even worse, invoking the words of Jesus to justify this is disgusting. I and mean, that's how I analyze it. You know, you read the fine print in these ads, you don't suspect to find, expect to find a New Testament Bible verse. That is what you find in these ads. You know, support the work of the ACLJ at aclj.org. Hey, welcome back to Seculo. This is Jordan Seculo. But we did want to focus in on this. So put the ad up on the screen again. Because even when you put it up on the screen, it's depending on where you're watching and how you're watching the show, of course, many of you are listening to the show. But the big text is, need an abortion, question mark. California is ready to help. Learn more at abortion.ca.gov. They did very small text for any, wherever this is running, whether it's a banner ad, whether it's a billboard, there's a Bible verse. And obviously put there to cause this issue. Mark 12, 31, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. And then underneath that, you will see paid for 
by Newsom for California governor in 2022. Now, obviously, you aren't seeing ads about going to get an abortion in California in California. So right now, where are they running? Indiana, Mississippi, Ohio, Texas, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Oklahoma. My question is this, who in those states is really looking up at that ad saying, you know, that that Bible verse, that encourages me to want to go get the abortion. Well, that's it. To me, it's almost like a slap in the face of people that take the people Bible of verses. faith. Yeah, seriously. And also, maybe you think twice before an abortion when you read the Bible verse like that. I would think so. Uh, so probably backfires. But the fact that they used it. And he's spinning like this. Well, it, that's what's unbelievable to me. Now, you know, interesting in South Dakota, we just got word that on October 18th, we're going to be arguing before the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, a pro-life piece of legislation that after Dobbs is, is should be, I am surprised we've been having an argument, um, on informed consent. So we've got that going um, on October 18th. But you have to look at this and saying this is the depths to which the pro-abortion industry, and I'm putting Gavin Newsom in that industry, the depths to which they will go to get their way and to get their message out. But then, I mean, adding the Bible verse to it does add a, a level of insult. It just does. Well, yeah, and I think that's that was probably the intention all along. You know, California, once again, he's Governor Newsom's not content to just be governor of California. He's going to, you know, take his liberal beliefs and spread them into the more conservative states that have decided on their own that they're going to protect life. They're going to protect the life of the unborn baby. And, you know, Gover Governor Newsom can't stand that. So he's putting these billboards up in those states. And again, like you said, using a Bible verse, it's offensive to me as someone who reads the Bible and believes in it. And I hope that it does backfire and it's offensive to people who read this it. This is also coming out of the governor of California. California is the state with New York that has gone the furthest in allowing abortion right, including the perinatal issue that we've discussed so many times. But they're also the state that is trying to regulate out of existence. We've already taken to the Supreme Court in the United States and won once, but the person that was trying to regulate these crisis pregnancy centers, pregnancy resource centers, as they're now called, the, the guy that was doing that is now the secretary of HHS. So this is the most hostile state in the, I would say New York and California, it'd be hard to right. tell which one, but California is certainly even more in your face than New York right That's now with right. this ad and that Bible verse. Right, and they're trying to spread their pro-abortion stance uh, across the board, across the United States. If you live in a, in a state now that doesn't, that believes that you should protect the, the life of a child um, in the womb, you know, Governor Newsom has now targeted you and is coming after you. And the perinatal law that we have fought the whole time in California, um, that law right now, it has passed and it's sitting on his desk waiting to be signed. And if he doesn't sign it before the end of the month, it will become law and California will not be able to investigate uh, deaths of children after they're born. That is, that is, I mean, that is so absurd, but this tells you the level at which they will go. Yeah, I was going to read a, Irene's comment on YouTube. She said she sh he should be very careful in mocking God. Yeah, I think anytime you're invoking scripture, you better be sure scripture's on your side. And yeah. do, does some thought. Because when you get willy-nilly with it, which is what this is. Oh, this is ter yes. This is just pulling a th something and say, let's throw this on the ad too to get more attention. Right. He wants us to be talking about it right now. So that's part of his his goal. Doesn't like the way we're talking about it, but he also means the left is talking about it as provocative. I think when you start playing with the Bible verses to be provocative, you better make sure you're right, uh, mm. because again, you're you're messing with a much higher power than governors or presidents or leaders of the world. And to me, it also is trying to re again like take back the abortion debate to the protestant church which it used to kind of sit in right. as a place where we know it was pro-abortion it was that was actually sure. not in conflict with scripture sure. i mean that i think that's exactly right let's go ahead and take nancy's call hi good morning everybody hi. uh so glad you're touching base on this sure. i am from california um a christian for over 25 years um this is a guilt campaign mm. um and so you using scripture to guilt somebody into believing like they have to give a life in order you know, to fulfill this scripture. I mean, my concern is we've seen a recent falling away from the church, going woke, CRT, BLM, et cetera. Even Franklin Graham used this scripture when he wanted everybody to get the vaccine. And people lined up for it. Do you think this is going to work? I think the scripture, which is Jesus said is the greatest commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, there's no greater commandment than these, is that those were the words of Jesus. Uh, and this guy, this governor, 
is using it. You want? I'm, I'm going to say what Jordan said. I believe he's using this at his own peril. I think he uses yeah. it. At, and I'm not. I'm not saying the wrath of this or the wrath of that. I'm just saying it is a nasty heightening of this issue. That shows you they will go at any length to put forward their view on this. Right, and and right in the face of the Bible and the Word of God. And like you said, these were Jesus's words. And the fact that he's putting this on care. a billboard saying, kill your baby, which is completely against anything a Christian believes and the Lord believes life is precious and should be protected. Um, it's just, it is flying in the face and there is a higher power here and he does need to be concerned but, about but that. But Jordan, you, this was no accidental, let's no, think no, about no. They put this, they thought about this before they put it on that ad. Yeah, I mean, this is a political ad, so it's paid for, this wasn't paid for by the state of California, because Lord knows the atheists might get involved in and say, you can't put that on the ad. Right. But here, what he did was he took his political campaign account, which he's been doing uniquely around the country. And, and why is he doing that? To build a national profile. He want, Gavin Newsom wants to be a name. Which he already was a pretty big name being governor of California, but he wants to be a name in, considered in the top, and he already jumps to like the top of the field. He's like a DeSantis in the sense that he, he is kind of a, a major state governor who on the left, like DeSantis does on the right, makes a lot of news right. for pretty radical policies for the left. So throwing the Bible verse in there, I think, again, it's – it's tried to reshape the issue. I think it's very dangerous. I think it would backfire in most of the states where he's running this, like in Indiana and Mississippi, because I don't think anyone's reading the Bible to say, go out and intentionally take another life. No, but, you know, it's interesting because this is on the legal point, and that this is coming in from Richard on YouTube, and he asks, how can he use campaign funds to do this? Yeah. Now, the campaign funds can are pretty broad in where they can be used. But yeah. you do have to ask yourself, I mean, what You've is got to be registering with the states? To do of this. course. Yeah. Why? What does this have to do? And you do a lot of that law. What does this have to do with this campaign? Other than he's building his national profile. That's right. For so his next campaign. So as long as, uh, you know, he's not violating any California law by spending outside of the state, which I'm sure you know, he's got teams of lawyers that made sure that's the case. and You register the right way in these states. You could utilize the funds this way. Now, most political candidates would say, why? That's are my donors really okay with that? His obviously are ready for him to take the next step. They want him to be considered to be the front runner to be uh, the presidential nominee if Joe Biden does not run. I think people saw that CBS interview and they think there's a pretty good chance this guy does not make it to a second term. Well, he's good because he's pretty much said it. Now, we're getting a lot of calls from California. Let me just yeah. say 800-684-3110. Let's take uh, Jeannie on line two. Jeannie, go ahead. Hey, Jeannie. Yeah, thanks for taking my call, sure. guys. Yeah, I just want to um, give a, a sort of a different perspective than maybe some of the callers prior to me. And that is that I want to encourage any caller, anyone is um, listening anywhere in California, if your pastor is not stepping up at the pulpit and calling this out, I urge you two things. Get another pastor. Get another church if you're not going to be in a church that they're calling this stuff out. But I just think that the, the church has remained silent on this for far too long. This is exactly what we saw in Nazi Germany. Well, I don't think and the church has been I, – I, I appreciate everything you said, Jeannie, and I appreciate your enthusiasm. But let me tell you, I don't think the church is actually being silent. I, I've seen – listen, we just saw the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yeah. So let, let's, let's put this in perspective, okay? So, of course, they're running Bible verses to try to justify their evil position because they just had a gigantic defeat – at the Supreme Court of the United States, the case they feared the most, they just lost basically six to three. Five to overturn Roe, six saying the law uh, in Mississippi was constitutional. So, of course, they're going to add Bible verses to their signs to try to promote this because that's what they're doing. They're doubling down on it. But I don't think it's fair to say that the, the, the country's asleep and the church is asleep. The fact of the matter is it was, it was the pulpits talking about abortion for 45 years that kept this movement going, and it was the spiritual leaders of our country— that were on the front lines defending life. I know that because I defended them for 40 years. So I know who was out there doing this and promoting. I used to go to those prayer meetings with those pastors at five o'clock in the morning in Atlanta, Georgia. So I, I know how they were doing it. So I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I want to give credit where credit's due. It goes to God, but these pastors were motivated and so were members of the church. I think that's why we saw a great victory in Dobbs. All right, welcome back to Seculo. So, again, this ad running, and I'm sure there's something similar in, inside California, but this is 
more provocative for outside the state, especially because it's running in Indiana, Mississippi, Ohio, Texas, South Carolina, South Dakota, Oklahoma. These are more conservative states, to say the least. States that are also Gavin Newsom's going to have a base of support. No, but what they are trying to do is erode. I mean, this is the politics of it. Take out the, the the Bible verse part of it, which is hard to do. They want to erode the suburban base. Yes. So that even in states they really can't play in, yep. where the, the Republicans are struggling because of this issue. But I think to that caller's point, what you just said, the reason this is happy is because we are winning. They're not doing this because we're asleep at the wheel. They're not doing this because your pastor's not doing the right job. They're doing this because we all were doing the right job. We got Roe versus Wade overturned at the U.S. Supreme Court. Yeah. We got justices on the Supreme Court that would take that vote, that would make that vote on the Supreme Court, and they did. So you awaken some demons when you do the right thing. Yeah. So when we use the word like evil, and I would only do that because they chose to put religious references here, right? They chose to go there. And if if they go there, we can talk about the idea that when you start winning on these big issues like saving lives, you awaken evil. And I think that's what you see through these ads. They they see it as dividing the country. I see it as, as uh, again, playing into a very sad aspect of our, our country. Yep. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to take some calls. And let's go to Paul in California on line three. Hi, Paul. Welcome to the broadcast. You're on the air. Hi, Jay. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. I love your show. Thanks. Um, I'm thinking about the ad, and I work in ministry. I used to be a chaplain for the state of California. Yes. I'm wondering... How do you, we know that this is, is something coming from the governor himself or his campaign managers? It sounds like, to me, the governor is not really informed. They don't really know what they're talking about. Well, he's, he's informed. He's say, in, these are smart guys, okay? You don't become the mayor of San Francisco and the governor of the biggest state in the country, one of the biggest states in the country, California, without being smart. I might disagree with him on everything, but they're smart, savvy Political operators. He's been doing. He's been a name since he was mayor. People have been watching him. He has a good look. He has the style. He looks presidential. Saying that as someone who thinks this what he did is evil, but th- that's how the left is seeing. And so he started to embrace the this new left, but also tried to put some soft edges on it. Well, how do you do that? Say, see, you can still be a, a Christian and support our our view on abortion. That's what. In fact, we're going to put in the gospel of Christ on the ad. Not just a random Bible verse, but the words of Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it also says so on don't, the don't end. Don't give it up to his political advisors. I don't. There's no way they could do this without his approval. No way. It's too, 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 too intense, and it could really backfire. It may, it may really backfire. Listen, Time will tell. The ad says paid for by Newsom for California Governor 2022. Yeah. If this was a federal election ad, it would be. I'm Gavin Newsom, and I endorse this message. Yeah. That's what they'd have to put the tag in. So this is not – these are an accident. Let's go to uh, Rick from Washington State on line five. Hi, Rick. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. I just want to say you guys are exactly right about Gavin Newsom being smart about this uh, or a smart person. What they're doing is normalizing evil. The more wicked and evil that they say and put out there in front of the, of the public – the more it normalizes stuff that might yes. be considered less evil. So they're just building it up. Yeah, it's, it desensitizes. The, the Part of their plan is it desensitizes the populace to this by, by throwing in a Bible verse. And, and for Christians, too, you know, it's saying, hey, if you're a Christian and you believe in the Bible, well, gosh, you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. And clearly that Bible verse must mean that to love your neighbor as yourself, you, sh- you should help you know, provide abortions for people and and you should be uh, pro for killing babies in the womb. And and that's what that Bible verse to me is saying. Oh, gosh, you know, okay, Christians who if you see this and say I'm against abortion, but what about love your neighbor as yourself like that justifies abortion somehow. Let's go to Regina in Georgia online for hey, Regina. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, I just want to say that they need to be very careful when they use Bible verses, as the word says, that the Lord, um, that the word uh, will not go forth without accomplishing what he has sent it forth to do. And every mom who reads that Bible verse realizes that their unborn baby is their close. Look, I think I think the backfire effect on this could be significant. But but as Jordan said, and I think said it correctly, is you got to understand what they're aiming at. Yeah. This is to build a national platform for Gavin Newsom. They th- they see Joe Biden as politically vulnerable. 
that he may not run again, and Gavin Newsom wants to go to the head of the pack, and he's, listen, make no mistake about it. He goes to the head of the pack. Guess what his position is on abortion? Exactly what the position is in California. And if you don't remember what California's position is, we have been following it extensively, and it is disgusting. Yeah, it's completely, you know, not only can you kill the baby uh, till the time, you know, that it's about to be born, now with the, the law that's sitting on Gavin Newsom's desk to be signed, um, which covers perinatal death of a child, which means after the child is born, that there cannot be an investigation into that death of a child, which is about 28 days after the child is born. So, you know, that's where California is going. Um, like we heard the former governor of Virginia say, you know, let the baby be born and then let the parents decide whether they wanted to let it live or die. California is basically in that position that a baby can be born and possibly still be allowed, well, can still be allowed to die. But this is to build his national platform. Is there any doubt? Oh, absolutely. If they want the discussion, I think this time, I, you wouldn't always give it to them, but this time I think it's worthwhile because I know in these states, we're talking to a lot of folks in these states. These are pro-life states. They're right now going through the process, a lot of them, of enacting pro-life legislation. And, of course, they're, everyone doesn't agree in those states. So to put these ads there... He's not trying to gain, like, votes, like, electorally. He's trying to become a national name. He's following more of, like, a Trump approach. And that's why he and New and, and DeSantis are kind of dueling it out, so to speak. Yeah, not dueling, think but... about how he's trying to do it. I think it's really wrong, but he's doing it. So instead of, like, the hard-edged Trump or DeSantis, he's doing it with the Bible verse. Yep. And what he's going to try to do is take the moral higher ground here. So I'm, and, and don't think... That hasn't happened before in our history when it comes to abortion. It's divided uh, the churches before. Now, there's been great unity more recently on this issue, uh, on churches, uh, not you know, lots of different denominations, non-denominational Catholic church. But he sees that opening that we all see happening in the new church, younger church, modern church that's not linked to really any denominations. And it's growing, and there's a lot of liberal policies in it. And I think he wants this to be one of them. Yeah, I think that's he's exactly. Gonna, he's kind of testing to see, is this one of them? This is evil. The guy knowingly uses a Bible verse. And of all the verses CC that he picks out, it's love your neighbor as yourself. There's no greater commandment. The words of Jesus Christ. I mean, this is like, I mean, and you know he did it. Right. It's intentional. Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt that it's intentional. And, and it's disgusting that he's using a Bible verse to support killing a child. And, and the fact that, you know, he's running for governor in California, but he's doing this in the pro-life states to, yeah. to send a message, to make a message that California stands for abortion. They will always stand for abortion. And, oh, by the way, if, you know, you're a Christian, you should love your neighbor as yourself. And as if apparently you don't unless you're supporting abortion. that's exactly right. Let's go to Cindy. Go ahead. Hi, thank you. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. My concern is you have a lot of very young women teenagers that are trying to find an answer trying to find the right thing to do and my concern and my fear i believe this is directly from the enemy because if they read this they might interpret it as it's okay if i have the abortion because look here even christ is saying that it's okay you know it's interesting because you're not sure he uses the bible verse so is he saying we're loving you. I mean, this is probably what he's thinking. I mean, I, I can't get inside his head. But love your neighbor as yourself. So we, your neighbor in Indiana or, or in South Dakota, we love you so much that yeah. we're going to, uh, th which is the greatest commandment to name, love your neighbor as yourself. We're going to pay for your abortion for you to fly in and have your abortion here in California. Yes. You talk about a perversion of scripture. I mean, a justification. You know, listen, everybody sins. And you know what? That's why they have the cross of Christ. But here's the problem. They are politicizing this. And Jordan, as you said, to make it into literally a national political movement. Right. And, and he's tangling and with Ron DeSantis at the same time on purpose. On purpose, uh, trying to tangle with Ron DeSantis. On purpose, trying to make a national name for himself. So you do things that are provocative. This, I, again, to me, it's what's interesting is that he had a team around him that said, you know, we think this is a good idea. Let's do this. He said, yeah, let's do this. Uh, and he moves forward with it because... One, it's, it opens up to so many other attacks because you can pick and choose scripture if you don't pull the context. You know, again, first of all, I'm not even sure. How, you, this one verse, you have to believe that that child is not a child.
yes, to believe what they're saying.